world of YouTube. Terrible sight here tonight. Walking the pub. And gonna be going over some Malaysia flight. Missing happenings. Um, one, there was a good thing that just came up on Amazon. Bear with me. The loud people that like to soup up their Ford trucks with diesel power. Mine just sounds like crap. But anyways, I'll tell you. This was a very interesting story. I just watched um, Dark Rementry. Uh, and it shows a lot of good stuff. <clears throat> Especially some flight patterns the uh, Malaysian flight took. I know I haven't done this in a while. I was supposed to look more into it, but there really wasn't nothing on it of what I've already, you know, done. But, dude, that this came out, and I watched, you know, just got done watching it. It was very interesting. And why they say this pilot went crazy, let alone... If he did it because of a, a man who uh, went to court, which was this guy, whoops, oops, bear with me, oh, that's the uh, pilot there, many, many hours of flight pattern for this guy, uh, of course, hours, of course, matter and flight time. For you to even fly one of these huge, big old, uh, you know, planes. But supposedly this guy, I forgot what it said. He did, I have to look it up because it's a word I don't use every day. But uh, he supposedly did something, went to jail for it. And it was said that the, you know, that pilot here went, say so, mad. And took the people on the plane in protest for this man here. <clears throat> A lot of th things came out in this thing. And what is, like I said, very interesting. This is a stimu flight, flight stimulator that a lot of pilots, I guess, out there or literally even here make for themselves. I assume... Uh, the practice. Uh, this was something he made. This, excuse me, pilot made himself, and it was to learn how to do, you know, practice doing emergency landings, I guess. Um, and as you can see, he's sitting in front of it. He'd have his friends come over and posted it all over on Facebook. So, they, I mean, they ruled this, I think, out because, you know, he wasn't, his, even his friends or his brother-in-law's on this. If anybody wants to watch this, I advise you to, but the brother-in-law was saying and another friend of his that he did not make this, the, you know, to do any type of, you know, crazy stunt to pull down a plane or whatnot like he did or how he, or whatever the case may be. I mean, this could have been a friggin' UFO or its own triangle out there of a disappearance. But they say that this plane also was seen in a uh, airport where it was not supposed to be. But it came out to be a... Um, what is it like a, like a shadow thing you would call it or a, I got it on you know I got it on this I, I took a picture of, it, of uh, what it says but like a phantom say so it didn't happen 
So there's something that uh, is said to the pilots, you know, being seen or a flight alone, but it ain't. Somehow it does not register. And it's like a phantom thing. But here is a uh, picture of it going over the sea. And this was supposedly before it disappeared. And of course his flight was en route and landing in Beijing. Which I have other, you know, photos of uh, me going over this case. I think I did. I haven't been on this case in over a year. <laughs> but due to the fact that, yeah, I was, you know, trying to figure out stuff back then. I, you, you didn't have as much, in, I didn't have, or anybody didn't have as much info as this documentary put out. <clears throat> And of course, they're saying conspiracy of some sort. And one of the uh, leaders there, I don't know, I don't know if he's a leader of the country, but he was a leader. I think it might have been from Malaysia. He was a cocky, arrogant person. He was. I mean, if this was a case of um, making a statement or a point, say so, or trying to put this plane. Um, you know, like in a kamikaze type mode and suicide mission. I, w I would expect that man that I'm going to show you in a few minutes could have had something to do with it. This man, he had a lot of smile in his face while he was talking in his interview. And he was just like, oh, no, 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 that could not happen type deal thing when the lady kept asking him, you know, the straight to the point questions. And it's safe to say that that man knows something a little more, maybe. If this wasn't, say so, a Bridgewater Triangle happening, or uh, uh, the Bermuda Triangle type thing, that's what I want to say. If this ain't something like that, then someone out there must have right, had someone on that plane that they wanted to get rid of. And that's what I think it is, and that's what I think it happened. Other than that, there is <laughs> reason to believe, and don't get me wrong, because I always think of what is out there other than, you know, crooked politicians or, you know, Malaysia, Chinese doc, uh, shoot, what the hell is that? Democracy <clears throat> out in them Netherlands, you know, them lands that are just simply hmm you can't put everybody all held accountable but you can look at a lot of crooked figures that are out there and say eh, you know but anyways on route somewhere over here is like another plane I believe but this was on route and they were supposedly supposed to pass Hong Kong and everything and then they show the beeping indicator light there. And then it goes on missing like so. As you know. Some are saying this. And for whatever reason how this exists is. You know very insane. And this is called a gray spot. Where for some apparent reason. If an experienced pilot knows about it, they'll use it. And this will make the plane disappear somehow. Then you got these two locators like near where they took an off from Malaysia. Um, going over Vietnam is in that, in the top circle. Oh, actually, I got my pen here. I actually got to save off my other phone this and this is great. So over here is Vietnam and then you got Malaysia down here. And um, the plane is supposedly in this gray spot. So with that being said, you know, this would make the uh, sense of the um, plane turning erratically like it did. But... You know, 
at the end of all this, they say that this plane ended up off the coast of Australia, which is very strange to me. You're going to tell me at, at 8.15, and that's another thing, this guy, let me get a picture of him up. And all over here, they got these um, reports of 203. And this is where I think it was saying um, information in Malaysia. That where they were, right? I believe it was 146 was the last time they were heard of. Um, they did say good night because I guess the Malaysia flight was saying good night um, due to the fact that right it was nighttime when they were flying and you know a.m. of the morning as you can see the timeline but after they shut off I guess 90 seconds supposedly 90 seconds is where the crucial part of you know this uh, I mean like I say this all shows Stuff of, um, and this is where it's saying it was like in a Cambodian airspace. There it is. But where is that? Flying in a Cambe Cam yeah, Cam Cambodian, Cambodian airspace, and then it says, uh, where is it? Trying to find that friggin' thing it says. Unable to extinguish. Where did it go? God dang nabbit. I ain't gonna say it. Where is that? Oh, projection. There it is. Was based on flight projection. Meaning that they see on the radar... But right, it's like a phantom. It's not there. Projection. And this would be like a projector, though, like you see on a wall. And say like the movie It, when they're running the projector on the wall, and he ain't there, but he is. Type thing. And it, it's very insane, you know, to see this in writing. To see this exist. To see what the hell... Why a plane, this huge plane, is seen in a projection but don't exist? I mean, that's enough to make you scratch your head and sit there and, you know, take 20 times over the lap of um, disbelief to say, what the hell are they talking about? Projection. And it, you know... Here's where the line forms, and as you can see, this is this is where that, as I showed you on the map with the gray spot, right there would be the gray spot that the plane would have right, you know, disappear, but take this, you know, bang this sharp left turn, and um, to somehow disappear. And it's going on here that it says it flew, you know, these were images before. And as you can see, flying and it bangs on right. And it's going further out. And I believe right at the end of this line, it shows that this is where the plane disappears. <clears throat> disappears on that sharp corner up at top. 
right here, but then later on, which I said in a previous video that I, I believe that this plane went down out of radar. So meaning that either a plane can, like the treetop flyers, you got that song by, uh, I believe it's Greg Allman, talking about the treetop flyers delivering drugs, but they stay out of the ra radar. Now, I believe that this plane could have been traveling out of radar zone after the disappearing in the gray zone. But yet I thought they said they found that plane in a wooded area off the side of a frickin' mountain. And then now they're saying it went into off the coast of Australia in this new documentary, mind you. And I could have sworn that I said in a previous video on this, in one of my last ones or so, that, yeah, they said they found it in the side of the frickin' mountain. Now they're saying off the coast of Australia and they haven't found it yet. And Australia to this day is still looking for this damn plane. So Moon is a little cocky bastard. If you watch this, you see a lot of smiles in this man's face. And a lot of smiles and denials. <laughs> when I like to put forth on this guy. But very, very cocky individual with this case. And what he also goes on and says, as you can see here, there it goes off. This guy in the search all went into this part of this, I believe this is the China Sea. But this is where they searched. Even though this plane went as far out past this line and disappeared. You can clearly see that they searched all right in this area. That's it. They didn't go off to, on this side over here to search, let alone off to Australia. But how they got this, and one thing he does deny too, oh, where the hell is that switch? Dang it. Bear with me. Because I wanted to show that. So supposedly the pilot, here it is. Two things in this flight. Supposedly this switch, which the traffic air control um, sees everything on the plane through different towers was shut off. And they said either it was Manual, manually shut off or could have malfunctioned with a fire. Not only that, this, as you can see, off, off. This is another thing that uh, goes through the uh, heating system, cooling system. You know, the jet, um, the um, jet fuel system. This is what shut off. But yet, there was one thing that was not shut off. That there was a satellite able to witness all this. And this guy here even denies it. And don't even say, oh, it's misaccurate. That's not accurate. This ding dong here. He's not even listening to this fact. Because it was something that was not. And was, if it was, you know, manually done. And if this was some kind of a... Uh, you know, thing to kill people. One thing the pilot is supposed to be expert on and would only know how to shut that system down that I just showed you the switch and everything. He forgot one crucial thing. You know, this is something that came up too about the satellite readings right here. This... And they call it a handshake, which is kind of weird, but was given all these locations and was given how the time of 8.15, the last known, you know, sighting of that plane through this satellite. And he did say that the plane, or this thing, shot one more handshake to the plane, but it failed. 
because obviously by that point, and it was a different time from 8.15, I want to say maybe, say like 8.30 or something, by that time the plane was already gone. So this thing, this plane flew and was supposed to be in Beijing, I would say, five hours from its departure. And by, yeah, 1.46 a.m. in the morning, as you can see in the beginning of this, it was already disappearing in its midst of, you know, being either hijacked or malfunctions. And they said that these malfunctions are very highly unlikely to happen. And this is what it was showing. It would grow bigger in the uh, video, but as you can see, it was going to say five something in the morning. But that little um, ping off the plane there, whatever the pilot forgot to do, this thing was handshaking with that radar. And uh, that's how they knew that thing was still going. But why so long? And if it did disappear at that sharp turn and then come up later on showing like I showed you in the last photo of it disappearing further out into the sea. And then they say it finally comes out to the off the coast of the Indian Sea near Australia. Was it a mental breakdown or was there something more sinister going on than that? Who knows, maybe there, maybe there was some aliens mind controlling the plane and controlling it, maybe. But wherever that freaking plane is, come on. It, it, it's only obvious. And then they show, here's the thing they show where their radar was showing um, how this plane was that little yellow spot there obviously was the last known place. But then they're claiming it was up over there too, from north to south, these spots. And like I say, I do remember saying it was up in some jungle area up there. And that's where they were supposedly found it, I thought. But then again, you got this spot down here. Like I say, I could have sworn someone said they found that up there in the jungle, but now it's staying down here, and that was where it would be right now, being off the coast of Australia. Like I said, up here, I thought there was some jungles that I remember saying that they were up, and they supposedly found the wreckage, but now they're saying in this documentary they didn't find nothing. So that right there is even bizarre. So, I mean, it still is a very piece of mis mystery of history that's going to go down into the um, unknown regions of life. Oh, oh, man. Who knows where this damn thing went? Who knows what the pilot, even, even if he did have a mental breakdown, or if they just got controlled and sent around in some... Hell, even they could have been even be remote controlled somehow. And, um, you know, by the government out there, by that guy I showed you. Little cocky man he is. Remote controlled. I didn't hear nothing of that, but if that's the case, who knows? Alien life form? Crooked government? Or whatever they call themselves out there? It is something, man, to think about, and it still is to this day. It ain't no different than a goddamn missing perfect person case. What is really going on in this world, folks? And who was really on that plane? Could have been a public figure we don't even know of that was, you know, leading to take someone down in corruption and had to be taken care of. But we'll never know. Very interesting though, case, man. But until that next video, here we sit. And I need to know if there is maybe, maybe some 
Let's call it the Australia Triangle. But then again, it leads that question that I say all the time. What's beneath us? What could be beneath us out that way too? Think about it, folks. Just think about it. Till that next video, be safe, take care, and always beware. You don't know what this world is capable of doing and sucking us up into, folks. That's right. Gotta beware. What's beneath us? Out.